like your style Put you in Chanel cause it's just perfect for your smile Girl I swear for you I'd run the world, I'd run the miles The way you look at me I think I'm going insane Alright everybody, what is going on? Welcome back to another video. In today's video we're going to be looking at Cameron Jordan. That's two first names. That could also be last names. He's a defensive end for the Saints. I don't have any Saints gear, but what I do have is something from California. Apparently Cameron Jordan went to college in California. So with that being said, I'm going to bust out my Cal Poly Mustangs hat. It's not the right, it's not the right college, but bear with me. Um, I'm going to roll the intro, and I'm going to see you back here to react to the big man, Cameron Jordan. See you soon. The quicker you're here, the faster you go. That's why where I come from, the only thing we know is... Okay, so I was having a quick look here. Cameron Tyler Jordan, born July 10th, 1989 is a defensive end for the Saints. He's played for the Saints his whole entire career. He's made four Pro Bowls, including the last two. First round pick, pick number 24 in the 2011 draft. And he played four years at California. He had 40 total games. He had 88 solo tackles with 87 assisted tackles for a total of 175. He had 16.5 sacks in his college career we're talking about. One interception for three yards at an average of three yards per carry. He had one fumble recovery. He had a total of 34 yards off of fumbles and two touchdowns. There you go, 4.78 on the 40 yard dash, 25 reps on the bench press, 130 kgs, six foot five. Wowee. You wouldn't want him running out yeah, that's for sure. Jordan, um, I've got to be top five, and then I was ranked number 99. <laughs> Sorry, mate. Oh, that was you. Right? You think, you think that's left? No. Let's go, Cam. 41, that's not bad. You've got to be happy. Oh, well, he's probably not going to be happy. He's lost 15 spots. Cameron Jordan. How do I explain him? As versatile and well-rounded as any pass rusher in the NFL, New Orleans Cameron Jordan is hard to explain. He's even harder to block. There is nobody that can switch up a move quite like he can. If you block him the first time, you're not going to block him the second time. Back to throw under pressure. He's running from behind. Cam Jordan sack in the backfield. See, I love seeing that. I love seeing that after, like three or four seconds or even five seconds after the, the snap, these defensive ends just do not give up. They do not give up. And I guess it's the tackles. It's their job, man. It's their job to stop them. And if they're spinning all over the place, they're slapping their arm down this way, going that way, you know, snap after snap after snap, you're going you're gonna to get used to the guy that you're going against, aren't you? You're going to be having a battle throughout the whole entire game. That's just cool. Jordan likely haunts Matt Ryan's dreams. He sacked him 14 times in his career. Fuck. He devoured the Falcon quarterback four times in 2018. Who's hungry? Imagine being sacked 14 times by one guy. What? You said something about a meal? Hmm? Oh, okay. Sack lunch. <laughs> <laughs> sack lunch. Jordan was named to the All-Pro team for the second straight season. His 25 sacks over the last two seasons are the fourth most in the NFL. 25 sacks over the last two seasons. And how many did he get this season? Cameron Jordan. He is equal 14th on 12 with DeForest Buckner and Bradley Chubb, who we've seen in this list. The guy I've met, you know, just through being at Cal, and both going to the same school. He's obviously such a great pass rusher, and 
I remember they dropped him in the coverage on one play. I ended up throwing the ball over his head. He jumped for it. I don't remember that. I was like, man, you got to stop dropping out. That's not what you should be doing, man. you got to be rushing. Let me see this. Coverage on one play. I ended up throwing the ball over his head. He jumped for it. I don't remember that. I was like, man, you got to stop dropping out. That's not what you should be doing, man. you got to be rushing. <laughs> He's great, dude. Every season, you try and push yourself to that limit of getting better mentally. So when you hit season, you'll be physically in stride. This year was no different. When you talk about the effort that I put forth, it really helped. Get off me, son. myself into being an even better player. Cam Jordan, the man who gets to Dak. Lionel Collins on the hole, and him. Ah, the, man. the way that he moves. It's uncanny at that position and that height and weight. Great. What are we going to see here? By Cam Jordan. Cam Jordan is there and he's going to wrap him up. And Odell. Go no further. And I think that has a lot to do with his huh. height. built mentally. He's just, he's just I actually love breakdowns like that. Actually seeing how they track across the whole entire field on one particular play. Because there's no way you're going to follow that without seeing that little highlight circle around them. Well, there's no way I'm going to follow it. You can tell it means something to him to, to be out there proving to the guys there's a certain way we have to play. Yeah, you got to love a bit of a bit of a comment from Andrew Andrew Whitworth on defensive ends because we do trust him. He's he's been in the league for about 18 years. Anyways, guys, I reckon that's 60 done, guys. 60 players just like that and if I average 10 minutes per reaction that means we've done 10 hours 10 hours but I love it <laughs> 10 hours of reactions over about five days so far that's how we do it some of you may, may, may wonder you know how do we get these series put together how do we do it when do we do it when do we find the time well I come in here at about five or six in the morning maybe seven on my days off from work and work. I edit, I make videos. Actually, probably the first thing I do is get a coffee, I sit down, make some reaction videos. Then I'll probably go back home, have something to eat. This is on my days off, see my daughter, come back, do some editing, do some description boxes, do some tags, do some thumbnails, write some lists for tomorrow. You know, there's always something going on. And this top 100 series is just like a a mission that's in the back of my head every single day. I wake up in the morning and think, shit, I want to watch these players, but I also know that I kind of have to because creating content is what I want to do. Creating content is what I love. I want to do this for a job. Probably not reacting to people's players, but definitely in the content creation industry. That's where I belong, man. If not, as a scout for an NFL team, that goes all over the world, international, watching players and bringing them to the Jacksonville Jaguars because I'll be working for them. Maybe. Maybe. One day. Possibly. You heard it here first. Anyways, guys, we're looking at number 40, Zach Ertz. Tight end for the Eagles. So I'll see you then.